Hey guys, so what's up? It's Chessie here. I'm just gonna do a little mini kind of get ready with me as my video for the day and that way you can see what my routine looks like now so you can compare it to where I go to in the future and unfortunately don't have my ring light yet that's actually gonna be a project for this weekend and it's gonna be a DIY project because I've heard a lot of people raving about how easy it is to make these ring lights and I'm curious to see if it is just as good because I've actually used studio equipment as a photographer and I, I'm i not saying I, I know better, I'm just going to say I have a, a little better of comparison and you know a $500 ring light versus this supposedly $20 ring light. Anyway. I've already misted my face with a Smashbox primer. I have to say this has been pretty good. I'm excited though to try my new primer from Urban Decay just because as much as I love this I always feel like I've missed something and when you're laying down a foundation that's not something you really want to constantly wonder if you've missed something or didn't miss something. I don't know if you can see them. I got a couple of red dots. They're kind of problematic. It's because that's that time of the month. Unfortunately. So, for me, I'm using Bare Minerals Concealer to cover them up. I do have some concealer to try from Benefit which I will, I was curious about, and I talked to the girl actually in Ulta, and she's like, well, I don't think you really need it. It would just be something you're putting on your skin and you don't need to put on your skin, which I appreciate it a lot, because a lot of the times you go into some places and their whole job's to upsell you. They don't care. Like, you could be there to buy something completely unrelated and they could say you need something. But she was really awesome. She showed me um, some tricks on doing my brows bold, which I'll be doing once I have that DIY do it yourself. There we go. Do it yourself uh, ring light. And hopefully, it is, you know, a fun experiment. Especially for those of you who are curious about bold brows and how to approach that topic. In today's video, one of my videos I'm filming today, will be actually entertaining because it's going to be a review you can use and it's going to be about, well, something not a lot of women like to talk about. And who, and it's something we all we all deal with. It's just a matter of your severity. Uh, those of us with yellow or brown complexions with the pigment, we tend to suffer from it a little more than general populous Caucasian women do. And it's because our hair is darker, so it shows up more. And I am obviously talking about the dreaded dun 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 facial hair that women can still get and it's a nightmare it's really frustrating for those of you curious i was using my pan tommy molly panda's dream brightening eye base and i have to say i love it because it helps actually this area of my skin not feel dried out and cakey when i put on my what little foundation i'm going to be putting on today and I'm only just putting on naked skin. So I could rub this all over my face. I choose to actually use a brush. I put it on I put it on my hand first. And then I clean it with the brush. And my logic is you work from the center out and I know a lot of girls normally do their eyes but I'm not really doing a dressy eye I'm just gonna do something really basic something I would wear every day 
so that's why it's uh, it's definitely not going to be that anything super flashy. For those of you that are curious, my brushes are the um, Real Techniques brushes, which I've been really happy with. I have to say they are pretty impressive compared to like some brushes I got from Sephora, which I paid a lot of money for. And this foundation brush is phenomenally better. Like I use it with this foundation which is really minimal coverage foundation to with my heavy foundation which is a smash box the smashbox foundation and each brush set has their merits but i'd have to say this one's just overall blending ease of ease of use I can't say it's, you know, there's anything bad. Use what I got left, cause waste not, want not. And go back over where the, I got those pimples and stipple it a little better because I brushed it right off because I was a dummy. But it's okay though. Important thing is good coverage without caking the fuck out of myself. But this is a nifty little brush. They've got quite a few that I have been very happy with. Let's see. Next up on our list is brows. And since I keep talking about it that way, you guys can actually see what I've been doing for the last, god, decade or two. So, I am currently using precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. It's been really great as far as creating soft lines and being kind of a good all around. It helps with definition, it helps with filling in, it helps with the general appearance without being too much. And I've really loved, like, if you feel like you put too much on, you can shadow it off really quickly and not stress yourself. never tell how even my brows are. Uh. And because I don't have my spoolie I'm going to use this to brush it out. And this is one of my other eyeliners. It's actually an NYX liner. It's pretty nice. It's a lot paler. It is good for if you're going for more natural. It's definitely a better. I normally use it because like my mole right there gets covered up because it's easy to cover it up. 
and I kind of like to see it. But otherwise, that's really nice. And Benefit's Highbrow Pencil is awesome. If you haven't gotten it, I really like it. Before I was using NYX's, and it's NYX's is really good, but this just blends a little better. In my opinion, it's not quite as, um, it doesn't feel like it's a strong contrast compared to the NYX one, which is a little more pale, which honestly for a girl like me is kind of something I need because my skin tone will jump around from pale yellow to dark kind of caramelish if I depending on how much time I spend out in the sun my favorite liner my go-to for everything is Urban Decay's 24-7 in perversion I swear by this and I'm going to do something that a couple of my friends have looked at me funny when I said it and it's called tight lining and it's where you line the actual like edge of the lid bear in mind not everybody does this I choose to do it because I like the look it's pretty self-explanatory once I start doing it my husband always gets freaked out when he sees me do this because in his mind it's, why are you putting something near your eye? Isn't that dangerous? You shouldn't be doing that. Woo! That's the only side effect from doing that is your eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow. Your eyeballs feel like they, they need to breathe because they feel like they, they got a little too much air. So it's a little, you go back in and get those sections. And what I found is doing this actually helps with a more natural look. And on top of it, it gets actually in your lash line. Whereas if you put it along the top, you end up fighting against it and you're, it doesn't actually sit into the lashes. Whereas doing it on the underside, you actually push the material into your lashes as you blink. And it also helps your eyes pop, which is really great if you've had a long night and have an early day the next day. And as I wear it, my water lines will actually dampen a little and will transfer. So I get a kind of a soft smoke transfer to my lower lashes without having to do anything. And like I said, this is a really kind of basic, everyday kind of go-to look for me. There's not a whole lot I do. Something I do regardless. Highlight. What's up is an amazing highlighter. It is soft focus. It is skin tone friendly, at least for a good number of us. And it is a general all around good product on the blend. Go down. And what's great is they've added this little poof. So you can blow it all out. You can't really, you can kind of see. You can't see too much, but you can kind of see, which is the point. And can actually I do have something that has been actually really fun to play with and it is the NYX contour stick and a lot of that's just because it's really easy to kind of go in and add some shadow Not that, you know, finger pat it out
and it's highlight stick it's pretty good and it comes in three different colors actually so you have your light your medium and your dark and it's highlight stick I, I it's not quite as creamy as the Watts Up from Benefit and for whatever reason it's not quite as creamy as the bronzer actually attached which is really weird but you know not a whole lot you can really do my blush is actually actually I'm not sure how to say this it's a Japanese seek but it is in what shade is this velvet touch shade 2 and I got it as a sample originally and I have to say I've loved it ever since it complements my skin well no matter what color I am which is really actually hard for me to find with a blush because most blushes I either look really good or I look like somebody came up and pinched my cheeks like I visited grandma and that's not fun so out for my eyes I'm gonna do simple shades I'm actually going to use my naked palette in matte because I don't want anything super distracting so I'm going to actually put on Instinct and I start in the corner because of the way my eyes are shaped it's always easier to start that way for me with the first color I'm applying which typically is my base color it's the the color that's gonna go across my entire eye normally I'm gonna actually do a center highlight and tempted which is just a shade lighter you see that one is instinct that one's tempted and that's the next shade darker this is just to help with the kind of softness help with the softness really not kind of And then I'm going to actually use a little bit of Lethal, which is the dark shade. And I can already hear girls screaming everywhere, why are you using the same brush? What are you doing? And, you know, everybody does their thing their way. If you figured out how to finger paint your makeup on, dude, rock it. Just so rock it. Nobody, nobody's got time to listen to the rules all the time. And sometimes breaking the rules is how you find some very cool looks. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of looks that if somebody hadn't have been just fucking around, no, wouldn't have, wouldn't have come about, wouldn't have existed wouldn't have been a thing and I'm a huge advocate of finger blending don't I, I'm not entirely sure why I started it I think it was because it was one of the it's one of the first tools you have and I'm gonna actually go over my brow bone with blow so I can blend out a little better. And I don't have such a harsh line. Like I said, this is gonna be for those girls who is are, are still struggling to get beyond you know, the typical beauty things. And using the same brush for everything is typical for somebody that's not a beauty blogger. And honestly, I found a lot of the times doing that can help pull some of the powder off. It, it, this is brush actually probably needs washed. Cleaning your brushes is important. 
Yep, and that's pretty much gonna be it, actually, for me, when it comes to that. I'm gonna actually put on some mascara though, too. I'm going to use, oh yeah. I wanna say this, is, it's actually Kors, and I really love this because it is high pigment, and it's supposed to have ash, volcano ash in it, which, I swear to God, this stuff doesn't come off for days. I have dunked my head in a bucket of water and tried to get most of my makeup off. I've still had this mascara last through that. Like waterproof? Don't even describe it. It's more like death proof. Which is really funny because a lot of girls are like, I want mascara to last forever and ever and ever. And then you get it, and you're like, not that long. And what's really nice though about this, is it just goes on so nicely. And like I said, this is not like a huge glam video, this is like an everyday kind of look. For me if you do glam every day go on with your bad self I Godspeed let me tell you you get a lot of good length with this too without it being clumpy which is really why it's been a mainstay for me I have um, Urban Decay's perversion it's really nice, but you're, you get the spider lens, the spider legs going on. With this, I have never had that problem, which has kept it as a staple in, in my bag, really. And funny enough, it, like a lot of things that really get me excited, I got it as a sample for my birthday from Sephora, and I fell in love. I just had to have it. going to put a little powder on which is also Urban Decay's Naked line. I'm a huge fan of that. You're gonna find that I use a I'm a huge Urban Decay girl I should say. So you're gonna find that I use a lot of their products because the line just makes me happy. I've not had issues. I've never had to double back and question the quality of my products that I've got. I mean, yeah, I've gotten colors where I'm like, yeah. but those have been on palettes where I've still had like six colors where I'm like, yes. And for those of you who do the rock the side shaved, the trick of blending out into your shave is huge. You really should not forget that that's exposed skin. And it's gonna look weird if they can see your scalp and it looks like it's a different color because it, I mean to a point it is it's not necessarily seeing a whole lot of Sun and your hair still shields it once you've shaved unless you go down to the skin it's always going to be that way so you have to remember to blend it out don't don't leave it looking like it's weird mm -hmm. <laughs> name that tune. Not really. Let's not name that tune. I know you guys know what it is. <laughs> I would hope you know what it is. Uh, let's see. Before I actually find my lip, I'm going to go back in, go back over with the photo finish, which like I said, it's really great because it is a primer and a finisher, which is awesome. And I have, this makes all makeup sweat proof. You got some, you want to invest in one piece of makeup equipment that you don't have to worry about your, your drugstore makeup with, invest in this. You will, you can't go wrong.
Now, even with this being a day-to-day -day look, because I live in Florida and humidity is a thing. Even on every day, it's a thing. We have at least one thunderstorm a day. So you you have to you have to look out for your you have to look out for it. Alright, so for my lips, I'm gonna do something fun. I'm going to actually use Urban Decay and what color is this? This is actually just straight up naked. And then I have an NYX ombre lip pencil, which it's got a pink on one side and a dark red on the other. And I'm actually going to use the dark red on my lips. Because I actually really like the color. It's a red violet. Downside to lip ring. As you can see, I've got this nice kind of violet lip going, and I'm gonna shake it up with a little bit of a pale pink. And I don't recommend this just for everybody because it does have a bit of peppermint in it. It's supposed to milk your lips plump so that they're nice and juicy and not everybody likes that so it gets a great it, it has a scent to it has a sting it has not doesn't have a sting, stinging sensation but it can be unpleasant for those who don't like that and there you have it an everyday look pretty basic but still kind of nice good for offices or going to your comic book store. So I will catch you guys later.